If you watched our channel, you know how important lighting is in our haunt. It's just as important indoors as I get further in on my Haunted Mansion home office overlay. So today, with the help of our sponsors Grand Brass and Simflame, I'm going to tackle making a replica of the Haunted Mansion Changing Portrait Hallway Chandelier. So let's get started. First things first, I'm going to start by threading the light socket through the shade holder. The socket assembly came with 40 inches of cord, which is more than I need. So rather than try to thread all of it through the lamp parts, I'm going to cut off about half. Next up is to run the cord through the 5 inch arm and screw on the lamp socket to the threaded end of the arm until it's tight. This will keep the shade holder in place as well. The last piece for the lamp arm is to run the cord through the decorative arm back. This corner is tight, so you may want to do one cord at a time to keep from damaging the cord. Once the cord is fed through the arm back, we can screw the arm into the threaded end and tighten the assembly. You'll do this for all four arms and then set them aside. With the arms taken care of, I'm going to move on to the body. This is where the assembly starts getting a bit more challenging. Grab one of your pieces of threaded rod and run your cord through it before attaching it to the lamp arm. Then insert that part into one of the openings in the lamp body and tighten it into place with a hex head nut. Now that I have all the arms attached to the body, I'm going to trim off a bit more of the cord to a more manageable length. If I had to do it all over again, I would have left this until much later in the assembly. I'll set that aside and get started on the ball portion of the lamp. This is where all the brains of the flickering light effect will live, so I'll have to get creative with its assembly. The first thing I'll do is grab a threaded rod with a 1 inch hickey installed. The hickey allows a way to pass cords through the threaded rod from one section of the lamp to another. I'll start by adding on a finial to one end, which will allow me a way to access this section should I need to make adjustments in the future. Then I'll set it aside so we can talk about the SimFlame module that will control everything. SimFlame is a flame module that has a few different modes of operation to create the look of candlelight, or in this case an old gas lamp fixture. There's a series of switches on the module that correspond with different options, including the rate of flicker, constant on, temporary flicker, and more. It's a great device for achieving the same look as inside the Haunted Mansion, and they're available in a handful of different configurations depending on how many lights you have. Since we're talking about the SimFlame, let's have a look at how it's wired up, since I managed not to film that part. For the model I'm using, you have five wires that control up to five lights. You connect the red wires from the SimFlame module with the black wires on your lamp sockets, and then all of your white wires connect to the white wire on the module, and then connect the white and black wires from the module to your power source. Since these cords were a bit too long, I decided to trim them down a bit before stripping them and connecting them to thinner gauge wire that would more easily fit through the threaded rod and into the body of the lamp, where they'll be connected to each of the four lamp sockets as well as the main power.
With everything tucked into place, I put on the top of the ball and the bottom vase cap. Then it was time to add in our second one-inch hickey. This will hold the brass ball in place below the lamp body, while allowing a way for the cord to pass from the ball to the body and from the main power to the lamp. Now here's my big mistake. I've mentioned throughout this video that I would have left more length on all of the cords, and while most of them were fine, cutting these ended up making the assembly much more difficult. So don't be like me. Get everything assembled and then check to see if it will all fit before you go slashing away at cords. You're welcome. After a lot of wrestling off camera, plus an assist from Mrs. Van Oaks, I was able to get all of the wires connected and just needed to add on the last few pieces to complete the profile. Then it was time to install the bulbs, hook it up to power, and see how it looks. The last thing to do was add on the shades and it was time to get some close-ups. This build wouldn't have been possible without the support of our friends at GrandBrass.com and SimFlame for providing all the materials for this build. If you're interested in making one of your own, be sure to check them both out and I'll have a parts list in the video description. Adding in different elements of the Haunted Mansion, whether it be props or wallpaper, or in this case lighting, can help to make a space feel more like the ride. So take this into consideration the next time you think about a theme, whether it be for indoors or outdoors. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks again to our sponsors, Grand Brass and Simflame, and of course, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, go make something.